Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In this video, we're going to be showing off a new cosplay, the pieces of it at least. It's for Negative Man, Larry Trainer, and Doom Patrol. <laughs> So, one of my favorite comics in the 90s was the Doom Patrol, and I love the Doom Patrol, even now, but in the 90s, Grant, era, Grant Morrison era, Doom Patrol, the amazing art by Richard Case, uh, I've got some pinups of his, he's an amazing artist, just a great guy as well. If you told me that that comic, just because how out, just outlandish it was, and imaginative, and just weird would be a TV show, I would have laughed in your face. So now we have one. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a Doom Patrol inspired cosplay. Now I was thinking of doing Cliff, Robot Man, uh, but then I've got to model the helmet and everything. So I wanted to kind of go a little bit simpler with this one. And I'm going to do Larry Trainer. So what I want to show you is some of the pieces and parts, and they're still in boxes, uh, of this build. And then, uh, you know, we'll talk about how I'm going to put it together. And then over the course of this month, I'm going to put this cosplay together. So I realize now I need something to open these boxes with. I'm going to find something. There we go. Tiny pair of scissors. All right. I don't know what's in some of these because they've been here for about a, uh, about a month. So let's open up this one first. Okay. This one has nothing at all to do with... The cosplay, this is uh, for my CPAP machine, because I have sleep apnea. And if you snore really loud, and your spouse, significant other, or who, whoever tells you at some point in your life that you're not breathing, you might want to check out and see if you need a sleep apnea machine. You'll be one, it does wonders for you to be able to breathe all night. So let's put that over there. So that was a message from the sleep apnea council. So let's hope there's something in this one for the cosplay. Oh, okay, there it is. There we go. And it's trash. So these are, I think my voice just really cracked there. These are going to be his goggles. And these look pretty good. I'm going to 3D model the actual ear parts because it isn't this kind of elastic -y thing. But this first part, it's not too bad. That's a neat looking goggle. And again, I'll model that part that sort of fits over his ear correctly. But these are nice because they're nice and dark. And I don't, it's hard to really even see your eyes through these. I might even give them a little hit of spray to knock them back a bit. All right, let's see what's in this one. On the back. Aha. And of course, there'll be links in the description um, for where I got all these things, and you, you can take a look. And of course, um, like and subscribe. This is his turtleneck, Larry's turtleneck. And I like this one because it has sort of these military, uh, these are like crush velour, so I don't think they're <laughs> military, but it's um, it's got those little shoulder things. Uh, and. I like this one too because it is um, uh, striped or it's got like a um, texture to it. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. And I had read that it's very light. Uh, and it is. It's pretty thin, which is nice because if you do any kind of cosplay and you're walking around, you know it gets hot. So, sweater-ish thing. Sweater turtleneck. All right, now what's in this guy? One's a little bit longer, so we'll see what's in this. Should be able to tell this one, but I can't. Ah, oh, cool. All right, so Larry in the comic, or in the end in the comic, and in the show, wears these sort of fingerless gloves, but of course, they have bandages. So, uh, I got a pair of these cheap and I've got some ideas how I'm going to do this with the gloves because you want to be able to take this on and off so we'll see 
Now, here's something you might be thinking, uh, Kevin, what are you doing? Uh, in the Doom Patrol TV show, he doesn't wear a tie. Well, in the comic, he wears different clothes sometimes. And one of the outfits that Rich put him in uh, that I really like is the coat. Uh, and, it, and it wasn't the furry collar coat. Sometimes it was, sometimes it wasn't. But it was like a greenish shirt uh, and a green tie. So I thought I'd do a couple different ones. There's also a funky pair of um, butterfly glasses that I've ordered that have not come in yet that uh, I can swap out. I can swap out. And let's see, last but not least, actually this isn't last but not least, uh, but something that's super important for a Larry trainer build. Bandages. So I got some thicker bandages because um, A, I wanted them not to be so see-through. And these are sort of like almost plasticky. Um, there's a spring to them and I like that because um, again, I want it to be thick and uh, really, really have some good coverage. And it's got a little stickiness to it anyway. And I think this should be enough. I'm hoping, if not, I'll order another one. They were fairly cheap. Now I know what you're saying. That's going to be a pain cosplay. Put those over there gently. This is going to be a pain kind of a cosplay if you're going to be putting bandages on and off. No. What I'm going to do is I had the idea when I was thinking of like Spider-Man. So uh, I printed out, and it's downstairs unfortunately, but I printed out a um, face shell, a Spider-Man face shell that's got the holes and stuff for air. And I put a strap on it so I can slide it over. And I'm gonna, actually, no way, I'm, I'm thinking of doing foam. I'm working out the details. Either way, you're gonna be able to take this on and off so that it works out. So it's gonna actually come off like a mask with this shell. At least that's what I'm thinking. I've got some notes taken, I'm doing some drawings. I think that's gonna work. Now, last but not least, for real this time, uh, is the coat and I did a little look around and I found this coat on eBay and I think this is the same place I bought my star load star load star load Lord coat from I'll put the links below um, this is definitely from the show and maybe in some of the iterations of the comic but it's this furry kind of collar uh, it's not perfect uh, the collar one is more of a cottony one and this one is very um, brown, as you can tell. And I think his on the show is a lot greener. So uh, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to get some, I'm going to try it, some fabric dye, some spray I've seen, uh, an olive green color, and give it a try. We'll see. Um, I did try this on. So it's actually a full trench, and uh, it's nice. It's uh, a large. I probably should have got an extra large, but um, uh, I think it's going to fit fine. I still got about 20 more pounds to lose. So um, it should fit definitely fine by then, but it's still comfortable. Uh, remember when you're ordering these and they're coming from other countries, their larges and our larges, not the same. Um, so you usually probably should get an extra large. It all depends. This is a large zone. It fits fine. Links will be below. So, uh, oh, and it's nice and light. It's, uh, it's, it's not cheap. It doesn't feel cheap, but it feels uh, nice and light. Because, again, remember, we're going to be wearing a sweater to boot. So, it's going to be a warm one. But not as warm as some of the other ones I've worn. So, uh, yeah. So, there we go. I've got uh, the coat. I've got the sweater, I've got the face mask printed, I've got the goggles, I've got all the stuff we need. In the next video in this series, uh, we're probably going to be doing the gloves. Because I've got a definite idea and a plan how I'm going to do those. So in part two of the, um, I think these are actually leather, yeah. In part two of the uh, video, we're going to go ahead and work on the gloves. 
unless I change my mind and then we'll be doing something else. But there will be a part two. So please like and subscribe and hit the little bell and you'll get a notification right when we have a new video out. And that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. I'll see you later. Take it easy.